Check. 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 Hey, welcome to part two of the Corner TV Stand Build, farmhouse style. We're gonna get started on the frame today. Right here, I'm just making the cuts for the two by twos. They're 45 inches long, there's three of them. And now we're gonna do the two by fours on the sides. Six of those. Those two by fours are 18 inches long. So I'm making uh, six of them. We go six. All right now we're gonna do the back, and they're 22 and 3 inches long. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm cutting more two by fours, 26 and 3 inch. Then after I do that, I have to rip them down to two and a half inches wide. See that? The table saw right here. Ripping them down. Ryobi table saw here. Don't recommend it at all. Alright, now I'm just doing 45 cuts, lining them up with the corner, maintaining that length. Next step are the shelves. Use your 1 by 12 stock. I have two of them. I'm going to rip them down to 45 inches each. Circular saw right now. Right there at 45. Now I could cut the 45 degree angle cuts, maintaining that 45 inch length. So the next step is that little piece of the shelf. Um, I bought a 1x4 stock piece of pine. In actuality, you could use a 1x3 inch stock. So uh, now I'm ripping it down, basically a 1x3. According to the plans, that little piece is 2 and 9 16 inches wide. Now it's just I'm cutting 45 degree angles for that little piece. Once those are done, you just glue them together to complete the shelf. Alright, so as the shelves are drying, I'm going to start doing the pocket holes for the rest of the frame. These are the 18 inch 2x4s, six of them. Pocket holes in there. Next will be the 2x2s. Two Got one pocket hole in that. Make sure you glue these up because just with one pocket hole, it will rotate. You don't glue it. Right now, for the back portion of the frame, these pocket holes are a little trickier because you have to offset them because of the angle. That's what I'm doing here. I'm going to show you the offset. There we go. Offset a little bit. No, they don't have to be perfect. I just eyeball them pretty much. Assembling the frame now. There's different techniques to do this, but this is how I did it. Sides of the frame first. Set it up like that on the table. Make sure you have a flat surface. Clamp it. Screw in the screws. Got 
the two sides done and now I'm just attaching the two by twos, glue on each end. This part I didn't secure with a clamp at all. Just gonna meet sure it was lined up. Just went for it. It worked out fine. Don't have a clamp that large for that type of angle. And next I made the five and a half inch spacers out of two by fours, you can see. The two by fours on those spacers, so everything is nice and even and evenly spaced. And I'm gluing up everything, especially the two by twos. The original table I made, I didn't glue up anything, and it's fine. Just uh, this time, I decided to glue it. Alright, moving on to the next level. I made spacers that are 17 inches, 2x4s. They, they just rest on those spacers and don't worry about it. Had a little trouble with this last final piece. Obviously, the last piece gives me trouble. I had to kind of clamp the frame to keep it in place. I don't know if it's because of the construction lumber, it was a little bit twisted or what, but something a little clamp can't fix. Here we go, last piece. Um, I decided to use the scrap 1x12 pieces to support the shelves. Uh, the last time I just secured the shelves directly to the frame with fogger hole screws, but this time I decided to just Gonna make sh shelf for the shelves. Don't know why. I just did it that way. There you go. Those supports are in place. I just place the shelves on those supports and tabletop. Pretty much done except now you gotta just sand it, stain it, paint it, do whatever you want. I'm not gonna show that in this video. Unless I get a request for it. But staining and painting is pretty straightforward. Plenty of videos out there on how to stain something. But I am just gonna secure the top with some screws. And you can secure the shelves. You might just keep them floating like they are. We'll see. There it is. This is the first TV stand I made in that first video. And uh, it's holding up fine, but this is how it looks with crap. This is how it looks with a 55 inch TV on it. The only issue I have is that you can see the wires in the back. But other than that, it works. It matches this set. So this is how it started. I made this, made that farmhouse table and uh, ended up making an end table and I needed the TV stand to go with it so that's how it all started so hopefully this helps people that don't want to hang a TV on the wall and who need it in a corner like I did 
So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other projects that have coming up. Have a good holiday season. Peace.